Good morning. Thank you again for joining me today for this Facebook Live story time. I'm so excited to be here with you today. My name is Miss Sherell and I work at the Parachute Branch Library of the Garfield County Library District. Today is a very, very special day. Does anybody know what today is? Yes, it's Wednesday, story time day. What else? Yes, it's April 22nd. What else? Well, if you said Earth Day, you are correct. It is Earth Day, but what is Earth Day? Well, Earth Day is a day that we celebrate all the beautiful things that are in this Earth. What are some of your favorite things that are in this earth? Mine would be my pets, the trees, the flowers, the mountains, the sky, the clouds, all these beautiful things that are just right outside our window. Today, we're reading Waiting by Kevin Hankis. We want to thank the HarperCollins Publishing Group for allowing us to read this book today. Let's get started. Waiting by Kevin Hankis. Look at these animals looking out the window. What do you see in the sky? Oh, clouds in all these different shapes. How many of you go out and look at the clouds. Just lay in the grass and look up at all the shapes. That is one of my favorite pastimes. Let's get started. Waiting by Kevin Hayes. There were five of them and they were waiting. Let's count them. One, Two, three, four, five. The owl with the spots was waiting for the moon. The pig with the umbrella was waiting for the rain. The bear with the kite was waiting for the wind. The puppy on the sled was waiting for the snow. The rabbit with the stars wasn't waiting for anything in particular. He just liked to look out the window and wait. When the moon came up, the owl was happy. It happened a lot. When the rain came down, the pig was happy. The umbrella kept her dry. When the wind blew, the bear was happy. The kite flew high and far. When it finally snowed, the puppy was happy. He'd waited a very long time. The rabbit was happy, just looking out the window. Sometimes one or the other of them went away. Oh, who went away up here? There's the puppy and the bear, the owl with spots. The bunny with stars. Oh, the pig with the umbrella. Good job. But he or she always came back. Sometimes they slept, but mostly they waited. Sometimes gifts appeared. Can you see the gifts on the windowsill? What do you see? I see a blue ball, a brown acorn, and a pink seashell. What wonderful gifts. Once a visitor arrived from far away. He stayed a while. Our visitor, what kind of animal is that? An elephant, good job. Then he left and never returned. What happened to our elephant? Oops. They saw many wonderful, 
interesting things. Look at those clouds with all their shapes. What shapes do you see in those clouds? Tell me all the interesting things you see in the next few pictures, okay? There's no words on them. What is this wonderful, interesting thing? A rainbow. Good job. What about this wonderful, interesting thing? Lightning. Good job. What about this? Icicles in the snow. Which animal is happy about it snowing? The puppy on the sled. Good job. And what about this? Fireworks. And of course, they were oh, there was always the moon and the rain and the wind and the snow to keep them happy. One day, a cat with Patches joined them. Do they look surprised about the cat? Do they look happy about the cat? Do they look scared? What do you think? Was she waiting for the moon? No. Was she waiting for the rain? No. Was she waiting for the wind? No. Was she waiting for the snow? No. She didn't seem to be waiting for anything in particular. What other animal was waiting for nothing in particular? Hmm. Ah, the rabbit with the stars. Good job. Oh! But she was! More cats. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five. Now how many animals are on the sill? We started with five. Now there's five. How many? Now there were 10 of them and they were happy together, waiting to see what would happen next. What animal is outside the window now? Oh, butterflies, yes. Oh, how wonderful, waiting. They're just waiting, looking out the window. Now, if you are ever in the Parachute Branch Library Storytime, you know one of my favorite things is to sing to the tune of Bingo. Oh, I love that song. And parents, this is gonna be our early literacy practice today, is write and sing. You can write any letter, any letters that make up a word, five, and then sing Make up your own words to the tune of Bingo. I'll show you how, but I'll be looking forward to hearing all of your wonderful songs. So let's practice. What are these letters? Let's say them together. A, P, R, I, L. What does that spell? April. Yes, that's what month we are in right now and what month Earth Day is in. So I've made up a little tune for you that you can help and practice spelling the month of April. Are you ready to do it with me? Now don't forget, I'm going to erase a letter and you're gonna clap each time that letter is supposed to be said. Let's practice, you got it. There is a month every year that we celebrate our Earth. A P R I L A P R I L A P R I L and April is that month. Good job. Now, you think you can do it without 
the letter A? Yes, clap. And we're supposed to say the letter A. Are you ready? Are your hands all ready? Here we go. There is a month every year that we celebrate our Earth. P R I L. P R I L. P R I L. And April is that month. <laughs> Good job. Did you see that when I was supposed to clap, I still said the letter A. I just whispered it just so I would remember what what I was supposed to what I was supposed to clap. Good job. I'm gonna take another letter away. Goodbye, P. Now, how many times are we gonna clap? Two times. Good job. Your hands all ready? Here we go. There is a month every year that we celebrate our Earth. A P R I L A P R I L A P R I L and April is that month. Good job. I'm going to erase another letter. Goodbye R. Now. How many times are we going to clap now? 3 times. Here we go. There is a month every year that we celebrate our Earth. P I L P I L P I L in April is that month. Oh, good job. I know you're singing along with me now. I'm going to erase another letter. Goodbye, letter I. You're ready to clap four times? Yes, I know you're ready. Let's get those hands ready. There is a month every year that we celebrate our Earth. A P R I L A P R I L A P R I L. And April is that month. Ah, oh, good job. All right. I'm Erasing our last letter. Bye, L. Okay, how many times are we gonna clap now? Five, yes. Ready, you ready? If it helps, spell April, A-P-R-I-L. Or you can count one, two, three, four, five, just like our friends on the windowsill, okay? Whichever helps. There is a month every year that we celebrate our Earth. And April is that month. Oh, good job. Thank you for singing with me today and clapping. I love doing that. And like I said, try practicing it with any five letter word that you can sing to the tune of bingo. I'd love to hear about which songs you're singing, which ones you're clapping to. Thanks again for joining me today for Waiting by Kevin Hankus and for clapping along with me. I look forward to hearing how you spend your Earth Day today, and I will see you soon. Bye. Have a good morning.